is it is it any good investing in a property in um Liverpool? Yeah. Yeah, man, buy a property in Liverpool. Like I said on a couple of my videos and that, if I was going to buy a property in Liverpool, I would try and buy a property that's somewhere in between Liverpool's Liverpool FC Stadium and Everton FC Stadium. Some sort of middle ground. And the reason for this is, if you buy a property that's in between both, now obviously it's not going to be right slap bang in the middle, it? but somewhere in between. The people that come to Liverpool to either watch the Everton games or the Liverpool FC games, they will want to rent that property. So imagine, yeah, imagine Liverpool FC is playing Newcastle. You're going to have people who are not from Liverpool. I don't know. What's that fucking place called? Um, uh, there's a place in between Liverpool and Manchester beginning with a W. Warrington. You might have Liverpool fans who are from Warrington, yeah? So the Warrington people are going to go to Liverpool to watch Liverpool FC play their game, yeah, against Newcastle. So you're going to have people from Newcastle going to Liverpool. You're going to have people from Warrington, for example, and other surrounding areas going to Liverpool to watch Liverpool FC play. And the same for Everton, yeah. You're going to have people maybe from Manchester going to Liverpool to watch Everton FC play. And you're going to have, I oh, don't know, let's say Everton FC is playing fucking, I oh, don't know, Man United or Man City and that. You're going to have a lot of people going to that area to watch the games and that. So, yeah, I'd say, yeah, buy, buy Liverpool, man. Um, buy a property that's halfway in between the two stadiums if you can.